Benson reckons I look like the Asian Macklemore. Mm. Look like I'm about to rob something. Wait, we need to get bubble tea tonight because it's a celebratory night. And I think that Cannon has outdone itself. So that deserves a bubble tea. I already know what I want, by the way. What? How can you decide everything to Look at that range. It's insane. What's three treasure? I'm gonna get it. A white tiger. Friends, what a white tiger is, is, is a brown sugar milk tea. You need that stuff in your life. The, 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 the white tiger, one small one. And what, which one do you want? Hey, the tiger system. Thank you so much. Awesome. Look at I feel like bubble tea in this day and age is really a necessity. So before I had to talk about everything that Canon has done today, I need to grab one of these beauties. It was just tasty as. So today Canon released even more specs of their rumored camera, the EOS R5. And safe to say, they have blown every other competitor out of the water. This is coming from a Panasonic fan. I love the Lumix S1, the GH4, GH5. I've shot with those cameras for a while. Even though I haven't posted them, I just, I love them. I'm a technology fan. I love the progression of technology. This is no different. So a couple of the exciting features that on paper I was so excited about. And I'm not gonna list all of them. I'm just gonna list the ones that purely resonate with me as a creator and I'm excited to utilize them if and when I do get them. Being a landscape photographer, I was often in the water and I wanted to take some long exposure shots and with the S1, it was great. I could have achieved a slow shutter speed and have little jittery movements and I still would have nailed one of my shots. And I've had a lot of shots that I've posted on Instagram before and they've turned out beautifully. I think being able to edit in 422 10-bit or even raw that is nuts I think it's so fun when you get to be able to fine-tune and tweak it without fear of ruining your footage I think that's very important not being able to limit yourself particularly right now I'm shooting with EOS R at a 15 to 35 length and it's got a 1.8 crop I believe it's not fun especially when you you pay for a lens this expensive and you're not getting the, the field of view that you've actually paid for, essentially. I know to some purists out there, manual focus is king, but when you need, and you're working with clients and you're actually time poor, you need to get that shot. The assurance that you've got autofocus is just so important. I don't know if you agree with me, but having all these things like C-Log in 4K, you know, IBIS, having the dual card slots, I think everyone will be happy. And you guys can look into it. Um, you know, theoretically, I think the megapixel count of this camera will probably be around 40 plus, 43 megapixels. You guys can correct me, let me know in the comments. But that aside, it is an exciting prospect to have this camera. It will cost a kidney and maybe two kidneys, of which I will be willing to send. I'm kidding, I'm all about fiscal responsibility. But I feel like that shouldn't detract from the quality of the product that will come out. I really think this is a special time for Canon and all other makers of gear at this point in time because if someone gets better, it's gonna push other people to innovate. And particularly at a time like this, I think things are gonna get a little spicy. But if you are in a position to do it and you are not in the mirrorless realm at the moment, particularly those shooting with older Canon cameras that are DSLRs, it would be the time to jump to mirrorless. And I think, and I'm sure a lot of people will agree that mirrorless is the way of the future. So that's it, that's, that's all I'm gonna say. 
I've been busy this last couple, three weeks when helping um, set up a family business with masks from Korea. Pretty special product. It's got a lot of copper in it. I can't wait to go back home and, you know, I've missed a lot of sunsets and sunrises, but hey, that's the nature of things. If you did like this video, don't hesitate to let me know by commenting. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace. So I put it to you guys last night on Instagram. What should I ramble on about in this video? And there were very, very profound answers in this. And let's let's start, let's just get into this. All right. Sat Bertha Crow, he says, hi. I say hi back. We Man Wonders, if you had to choose only one country to visit, which would it be? It would be the Philippines because there was a wedding that we were supposed to go to this month and we didn't, obviously because of what's going on. We missed out on so many plans, a lot of flights were cancelled and a lot of our money was tied up there and we wish we could go. So, definitely the Philippines. Luke Minks, he says, hi, thank you in advance for your support. Right on, dude. John Dean, he says, I love the jacket, bro. I love it too. It's pretty warm. Melbourne's pretty cold. Chester C, and he says, he says, you should post about gear. You're a gearhead and you'll be good at it. I think I, I do like talking about it. Whether or not I'll be good at it, that is another thing. Finally, Fly Candy, AKA Benson, AKA Shred Man, AKA The Iron Man. He says, what thrift shop did you get your outfit from? And I got it from Uniqlo. That's not a thrift shop store at all. Anyway. See ya!